Hey everyone, welcome back to Hayes Kitchen Now. This is a slightly different recipe today. Reason being is I get contacted constantly about people that are, might be lactose intolerant or um, prefer to have something like a nut milk. So I'm going to show you how to do an almond milk. I'm going to make up an almond milk hot chocolate. You're going to grab yourself some almonds, you're going to put it into a large jar like this and fill it up with cold water to about halfway and leave that overnight. So do it just before you go to bed and leave it for around 10 to 12 hours. Those nuts are gonna start losing some of their coating and they're also gonna start absorbing some of the water. Um, so there, we have got a big jar. You can see straight away the amount of coloring you've got in there. It's gonna start like a white, milky color. We give that a little stir around and then we're gonna give that a little rinse off. You can see they've really puffed up in size and grown and taken on some of that water now. The great thing about doing things like this is means that it's got no preservatives in there. It's going to be completely nutritious and you know there's nothing else going to be added in there that's untoward. As always, I'm working with Morphe Richards with the soup and milk maker. Um, it's a great bit of kit. I'm very lucky that they send it to me. It means I can do things like pureed soups, chunky soups. It will heat them through as well. And for this type of things, it will do perfect milk. So it will do cashew milk, it will do um, almond milk, it will do soya milk. Um, so first up, we're just going to take the lid off and we're going to add our almonds to the bottom of the pan. We're going to fill up the rest with cold water just until the minimum line. We go back on with our lid. So now we're all happy that's all in. We're just going to press our select, blend, and then just hold our finger on there for about 20 second bursts until it really churns it up. So that turns itself off after 20 seconds. We're going to do four different motions of that. So 80 seconds all in all until it's completely blended up. And once you're happy with the consistency, something like that, we're just going to pour that through a strainer. So I've just got myself, you can use a milk bag for this. If you've got one that's perfect, we're just going to use a little bit of a light sieve. Pour that through. Just leave that for about 10 minutes just for the milk to drain all the way through. That takes about 10 minutes. You're just pressing that down. So all this that you've got left over, don't waste that. You can either use it in your compost if you really want to, but otherwise just lay it down on a baking tray and put it into a low heat on the oven when you're cooking something else. And it means you're gonna be perfect for using in biscuits or milling up and using as flour. So once you're happy, you've got all the milk that you need, we're gonna start making up some hot chocolate. So I'm gonna add about a cup full to here. So they're starting to come up some bubbles, just on a light bubble. We're gonna go in there with one and a half teaspoons of cocoa powder. And again, give that another little mix through. You'll get that beautiful chocolate element through there now. And once you're happy that's stirred in, we're gonna go in with a good handful of our dark chocolate. So we've got vegan chocolate here going in. And you can see that's really starting to thicken down because so that's reduced slightly and that chocolate's melted in there. Now it's up to you to play around with flavours on this. If you want to put some alcohol in there, you can. Something like a shot of brandy would work really well. And if you just want to keep it pure and simple like I'm going to, just keep it like this. We can put a vanilla pod in there. Um, even a little bit of orange zest would work perfectly as well. So let's thicken it up nicely. And we'll just pour that into our little mug. And then finally, just on top, We've got a few little vegan marshmallows there, just to melt in. And last but not least, just a little bit of grating of chocolate over the top. How good does that look? <laughs> this is a place where you want to light a fire. And there we have, that is my simple Christmas hot chocolate. Oh, that is so chocolatey. That is so good. See, there we go. That is so easy to make your own almond milk. That's my almond milk hot chocolate. If you want to know more about the Morphe Richard Soup and Milk Maker, click the description box below, which takes you straight through to the website with more information about it. Um, if you do recreate this one, which I hope you do, hashtag Miss Haste Kitchen as always. Have a great Christmas, and I'll see you next week. Cheers. Bye-bye.